Hello friends, welcome back and this is your friend Farah Sheikh from F Sheikh Excel Master. And in today's Excel video, we are going to learn how to count the occurrence in the Power Query. And this will also show how to add the index number to the group data. So let us quickly jump to our data and explore it. How can we do that? So this is a set of our data which has a sales product and the products are like headphones, smartphones, laptops. Now we would like to count the occurrence of headphones which is two times in this list with the formula method it's quite easy you can do it with the count f function and you can just return the number of occurrence so to do it in the power query all you need to do is convert your data into excel tables so we are just going to say control t so that will convert to excel tables yes my table has headers wonderful now we are going to give our table a nice name my data and under data we are going to say from table slash ranges. Make sure that your cell is selected into the Excel table from table slash range. So our data has been loaded to the Power Query now and it has applied a step change type. We would just revoke this step and we are going to go to add column and in the add column, we are going to add the index column. As you can see, the step has been applied over here and we have got the index number. So all you need to do my friends, go to the formula bar and copy the formula. In case if your formula bar is not visible, all you need to do is that go to the view and under view, you'll find the layout. Just check the formula if it is unchecked. So I'm going to copy this formula, control C. Now we are going to go back to our home ribbon tab and we are just going to select the product because we would like to do the grouping based on the product. So that's very important. So group by product and in this column name, we are going to say data and we are going to select in operations all rows and we are going to say, okay. So we have got grouped of all the products. And if you just click next to the table in the white area, you will see the records for the headphones available over here. Similar way for the other products as well. And if you had noticed my friends, the index number which we have applied before grouping the step has been added over here. So now we need to add another index number which is index 2 which says that 1 and 2 which counts the occurrence of that product. So the magic begins now. Go to add column, go to custom column and in the custom column I'm going to say data 2. And we are just going to paste that formula which we have copied and we are just going to remove this equal to sign and in place of source we are going to say data this is very important and in place of index we are just going to say index 2 if you write the same index it will overlap the information and then you will get the wrong results everything looks good let's hit ok boom here we have it the occurrence has been repeated one, two, and let us go and check it over here. We have four occurrence for the smart TV and for the PlayStation two occurrence. Wonderful. Now I don't need this column anymore, so I can just remove this column, right click, remove column. Okay. And we are going to expand this data. Use the original column name prefix. No, we don't want to use that product. We don't want that product also. And we are going to say expand. Yo, that's the results we were looking for. So let me rearrange the column again to its original state. And we are going to say that this is a date only, not the time. And the change type has been applied. And you can do it for the others as well, but I'm just going to leave it for time being. And let's close and load to. We're going to select it as table in the existing sheet. And I'm going to place it over here next to our source data. Now you might need the data to look exactly the way it is appearing it over here. So no worries. We'll go back again to our query tab and hit edit. And if you remember, we have added this first index number. That's the reason I have added the first index number so that I can keep the original sorting as it is. And now it's here and now we don't need this column anymore so we can remove that close and load so our data is sorted over here so let us check our data over here for the headphones 
Wonderful, we got that too. And for the PlayStation, we got two. This works smoothly without any issues. So let us bring some new data to our data set and see how it responds. And we are going to paste it over here. Go to our query, right click and refresh. So let us check our records over here. And yes, let us check for the headphones. Yes, this time we got four headphones. And for the PlayStation, we have three records. Power Query is really amazing, my friends. If you start exploring it, you will definitely find a solution. So I hope my friends, you have enjoyed this Power Query video. So stay connected for more videos coming soon. So please push a like button, share this video, subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to hit the bell icon for the latest updates. Signing off for today, your friend Farah Sheikh from F Sheikh Excel Master.